welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing a final for my yoga class. Yes, that's right. I took yoga in high school instead of weightlifting. I'm angry, but this class is fun. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Ow, wow, well, that was weird. Um, anyway, so here are 10 yoga poses and how they can help you. First is the classic downward dog. Yeah, you probably know my cat is being annoying. Okay. The classic downward dog is very nice because it usually leads us into lunges, which I hate. However, uh, this allows you to decompress your spine and hamstrings and makes it feel better there. Yeah, great. Next up is Warrior One. Yes, this is a pose. Yes, it looks like I'm walking, but in a very weird way. Cat, stop. You're being annoying and interrupting my video, but I love you so much. Anyway, this allows you to decompress your internal organs, and it also stretches uh, this guy back here, your calf. And, uh, yeah, and you do it on both sides. It also opens up your shoulders, which is very nice. Uh, next, triangle. Contrary to popular belief, it's not actually your body that's making a triangle shape, just your arm and leg. This cat is still wanting love. I will when I'm finished with this. Anyway, triangle allows you to straighten your shoulders perfectly and relieve back pain. This is a very good move for old people. This could possibly be picked up wrong by my... No, I can't say that. Uh, this, this could, yeah, go, go, next, next, next. This is chair. Yes, this is an actual yoga pose. Ow, I hit my leg. This is chair. It allows you to stretch your calves and your hips. Very nice, very cool. Hi, kitten, I love you too. Anyway, I love chair because it looks like I'm sitting in a chair. Next up is tree. Now, listen, I might get a little sappy with this one. It was my, my great-grandma's favorite yoga pose. She was kind of a birch sometimes, but... You know, it's fine, I'm okay. Uh, so, basically, tree, very nice, increases your balance and also opens up the hips here, uh, allowing you to stretch these muscles that you don't usually stretch. Oh boy. Yeah, it's good to do this occasionally. Yeah, that were tree puns. Haha, <laughs> go. Yes, this is a pose. Yes, I'm upside down. Yes, I'm- Oh, go, 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 go! Okay, we're good. Man, it's taking too long and I don't remember the name now, so I'm just gonna call it Thingamabobber. Ah! Thingamabobber is very hard to do, but it allows you to stretch uh, certain parts of your spine when you're bouncing on your ow, shoulders. Ah! This is a very hard pose for me to do without a wall behind me like I usually do in class. Like, we're moving to the floor now since that one was a bad one. Hello, cat. This is Boat. Boat allows you to increase these glutes right here so you can have. Nope so that you can balance while doing boat better. Go away, I'm doing a video. Yes, very cool, very great. Stop it. Uh, this pose is awesome, on to the next one. This is the plank, hello. The plank allows you to strengthen your upper body and, man, you are really annoying. It allows you to strengthen your upper body and your core, which is really nice and can also help you do sit-ups better. Uh, yeah, on, okay. On to the next one. Ah, easy position. More scientifically known as crisscross applesauce. Yes, Miss McKenzie, I'm calling it this. Easy position allows you to relax and straighten your spine when your posture is bad like mine is. This will stretch your back and also give me 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 and also uh allow you to stretch your shoulders and align them better. This is child. Child looks like I'm bowing to an idol on a throne. Uh, child allows you to stretch your back and your shoulder blades, which actually feels quite nice now that I'm doing it again. Ah, uh, I love this. 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 Ah, uh, come on. This is the. Mm. Just for a little. Uh, this. This is the crow. Um, I can't really do it well, but it strengthens your wrist and stuff. Basically, you're lifting yourself up, but you're lifting yourself off the ground, so your feet are up and off the ground and stuff. Stop it! I Last but definitely not least is crescent, my least favorite yoga pose. It's a glorified lunge, stretches out your calves, and it's incredibly hard because you got to balance well, and my balance isn't well. Then you raise your arms like this and become a crescent. Oh man. Yoga's tiring. Anyways, thank you for watching, Miss McKenzie. Please give me an A++ on this class. I really need it to get into college. 
uh, I'm not that smart to get a scholarship, so this is definitely necessary. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.